to be yourself again. Something that quite, could quite possibly give you your life's biggest blessing like it did me. And she did a baby emoji because getting healthy is what helped her get pregnant. How much? Next group starts January 28th and you belong in it. Drop your favorite emoji if you want. Da, 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 da. So like she put all the value on, say, it was very similar. It was a price objection, but talked about what it had done for her. It had absolutely transformed her life, but she did it in a very, one, one thing I love about Emily Fowler and Bonnie Ingle is they can say something, and Micah, so it's a superpower of Micah, is they can say something so powerful and they can make it short. And especially if you're advertising on Instagram, you will be rewarded for your ability to keep it short because Instagram likes people who are short-winded. Okay, I'm No, I love that. Um, so Jamie just asked, and all of us can probably answer differently because we're all different. Um, how often do you follow up with ghosters? I don't follow up a million times with ghosters just because if they're not, if they're ignoring me, I'll follow up. So say somebody asks for information, you give them information and then they don't say anything. Always, always, always follow up with that because people are busy. Sometimes their kids, I've had people be like, oh my gosh, I didn't even see this message because kids, my kids were on my phone, whatever. I always follow up after that. Um, but after that, I'm not following up with 50 times. That's just how I am. But I might give it a couple, like a month later, then I would follow up with them. But that's just me. So I don't know if anybody else does it a little bit different. Uh, depending on the person, you can kind of call them out. <laughs> so the other day I had a call and the girl said that she, that was doing my call. She was saying that she's like, I call people out. So this is what she said. She goes, hey, I know you typically ignore my messages when I invite to a coaching opportunity, but I can't help um, for it to change your life because she's like, this girl will ask for information and then totally ignore me. She's like, so call them out. Say, hey, you typically ignore me but blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, just kind of however feels comfortable for you. I don't know to other people how much they follow up. Ashley said she follows up weekly for three weeks. Um, the first one is like, hey, did you see that? Second one, don't want to be annoying. Did you want in? And third is, hey, I'm here when you're ready. That's perfect. Because then you're going to, the last one, you're giving them the opportunity to reach out when they're ready. I think that's perfect. And weekly is not like in your inbox 24 seven, but if you're giving them information, you should follow, follow up with them instantly one to two days after. Okay. Don't wait a week on that first initial follow up. Okay. Um, Kristen says, can we advertise on Instagram, like sponsor posts and whatnot? Yeah. If you have a business account, you totally can. So if you don't have a, if your Instagram is not a business account, it's literally one button, you switch it over and it's super easy. Um, hey, before we like run out of time, let's talk about Summit and Team Cup. I'm eating. Do you want to do it? <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't matter. So Summit. So if you're a new coach, I think for the first two months, you get that new coach offer that you can buy your ticket. I think it's $145. It's the new coach price, um, which that's what we all paid like the second it came out. Okay. But if you also are a new coach and you hit success club the first three months coaching, then you get a ticket for free. So say you buy your $145 ticket and then you end up hitting success club for the first three months, they'll reimburse you for that. Okay. So just FYI, don't be like, well, I'm going to try to earn it. That's, I mean, you should, but you can also still buy it and they'll reimburse you right now for January. Anybody can get their ticket for $155, which is seriously so cheap. Normally it's $300 you guys. And if you want to like make this business a priority in your life, you have to, you have to make summit, I think over anything, a priority, um, plan other family vacations around it. You know, we know a year in advance when it is. So lots of times you can plan that and then plan other stuff around it. Oh, I gotta pay for it. Don't I? I, to walk out the door. Oh. I don't know who's unmuted or, um, I'll see you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I mentioned something with that to you guys. I know as a brand new coach, you're probably A, thinking, holy crap, I can't afford that. B, uh, I don't think I really need to go. Um, you do. Like Cozy was saying, you guys, this is a business, and the biggest thing I see is people don't treat it like a business. Like if you went to work from a nine to five job, and they said, hey, you have to attend this workshop to get your certification up, whatever it is, you wouldn't be like, no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. 
like, no, I'll just pass on that. Your boss would be like, uh, non-negotiable, okay? So you need to treat everything that we're talking about like a task you would have in a nine to five um, because that literally is how you grow your business. And something else I want you to know is to start paying attention to the top successful coaches. What are they doing? And do everything they're doing. They don't ever miss summit. They don't ever miss the quarterly events. They don't not show up. They don't go inconsistent. Okay. So like their success leaves clues. That's something you'll hear us say all the time. You need to seriously pay attention to that. So if you're wanting to transform your life with this business, you have to make these things a priority. And you guys, we have six months to be able to pay for this. Okay. I started in January in April. I was trying to decide if I was going to go. And Mike is like, you need to decide yes or no so that you figure it out. And I was like, freaking fine. Okay. Talk to my husband. We were super tight on money. He's like, just make it happen. I don't care. As long as you can pay for it. Fine. So in two months I saved up the cost of everything. And by the time I got to summit, my income had increased so much because I was pushing so hard to be able to pay my way that success club was non-negotiable and I had an incentive to drive my business forward to pay for it. Okay. So you guys still have plenty of time to earn the money to not have it be an expense and a burden on your family. So you need to decide right now you're going to do this and you need to sign up for it so that it puts some skin to the game and you actually show up. Okay. So summit needs to be a non-negotiable. You guys, it is like life changing. That's where my husband actually became like ridiculously supportive. So you need to go to get the belief for yourself. And then maybe down the road, your spouse will come with you. But I don't know any coach who goes and regrets it. Okay. It's where businesses can explode and change and you really understand what the business stands for. Um, so make that a priority. Yeah. On top of that, go for it. No, you're fine. I just think summit, if you're going to invest in anything all year with your business, it should 100% be summit. You get all the parties, you get to be around your team, you get Rachel Hollis is going to be there. Hello. And all the business mentors from top, top coaches. So it's in Indianapolis. So which it was so awesome. nice. Last, yeah, it was so good last year. And you guys, I don't know any convention that's three days long. That's only 150 bucks. Like there's not very cool. <laughs> so um, on top of that success club, you guys, like we have sweet prizes. Um, crap. Actually, let me screen share really quick. I just screenshotted it this morning. Um, shoot. I don't know. Let's see. I think I can't. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So success club is when you help three to five new people every single month, you will be given a prize when you, um, hold on, I'm going to share this so you guys can see it. Okay. So can you see my picture? Yeah. Okay. So if you help with success club, your first month is January, which means these are the prizes you can qualify for this year. If you hit this month or yeah, month one, you get a team beach body tank or a t-shirt. Okay. If you hit three months consecutively, you'll get the Beach Bodyopoly game. P.S. We played this with my kids and it was freaking funny and so good. Um, six months, you get a backpack. Okay, I love their backpacks. Like, they're so awesome. Nine months, you get a sweatshirt. And 12 months, you get a luggage bag, you guys. Okay, so these are just extra incentives. So you've got to hit like now. And honestly, Success Club is a flipping choice. It's something you've got to decide today. This is how I'm going to grow my business. I will do it every single month and it needs to be a priority and I promise the business will grow. So you have all these incentives, okay? Hitting success. Yeah. The trip. Where, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was, was that Ashley? Yes. I, like it. I can't find her, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, talk about the trip and how like you get extra. I don't know if they do extra for the, I know for the cruise they did extra, but I mean, that's how you get invited. Talk about that. Yeah. So hitting success club is how you get invited onto the crew, not a cruise. It's a Punta next year. You need to opt into that. You guys, this is a chance for you to earn a trip for free for you and one other person simply by hitting success club 10 every month. It will be completely paid for like you legit just pay your flights to get there. Okay. So you need to look in the FAQ for that. Get on the wait list. 
Um, that will cover that. What's crazy is there's all these rewards, you guys, but honestly, successful is how you grow your business. And so it's awesome because when you do that, you get all these extra perks and rewards. And at the same time, your business will not cost you a dime if you're hitting success club. You're going to build your business. You're going to create a profitable income. You're going to get trips. You're going to get swag. You're going to get all these extra awesome things. So like, that's why success club needs to be the foundation. So there's so many extra perks to success club. Um, I don't know one, I don't know one entire person in the whole entire network that has hit success club continuously. So I think I've hit success club now would be, I don't know, 40 months in a row and my business has grown and I don't hit these huge, massive numbers. I hit honestly between five, like 15, that's my normal numbers, six and 15. And I don't know one coach in the whole network that will say that they've continuously hit success club every single month that haven't grown their business. If you're hitting success club every single month, you will grow your business, but you have to make that a priority no matter what. So just make it happen. Um, okay. So, uh, we'll touch on Bryn and Alyssa's Bryn said, talk about the limiting belief, but I don't want to hit success club. I just want to help people. They're the same thing. <laughs> you can't not when you're helping people, you're hitting success club. So if you're like a, a people person and you like the numbers are not your thing, then you look at it at helping three people a month. That's all it is, is you're committed to helping people. That is our job. That's what you signed up for was to help people. So this keeps you actually engaged in actually doing that and helping people. So they're the same thing. So if we hear you say that, we're gonna be like, yeah, so go help three people. <laughs> like that's what it is. Um, Top things to do and really pushing for a success club. I'm going to mention one thing and then I'm going to let Cozy and you know, everybody else talk. Is the biggest thing is consistency and talking about what you're doing. Stories every single day, you should be talking about your challenge group. You should be recognizing coaches who are having transformations. Your posts should be so consistent that people know what you're offering. Um, some of you guys know I created presets. And the reason I'm using this as an example is because it was even eye opening for me, which I already knew this. Um, Every day I mention in my stories that I have presets that people are available to purchase. I show before and afters and I give them an option like, let me know if you want a link or swipe up for the link or go to my bio for the link. Anytime I do that, I make a sell. Anytime I don't do that, I don't make a sell. So you guys, it's the same thing with your business. The more you talk about it, the more options you give them to contact you, the more you're going to help people. So my biggest thing is you've got to get your face out there so people know that you're even offering a way to help them. Sometimes we talk about it, but forget that they need to actually be flat out told in your posts and in your stories on that end, on the front end, that you are open and you are willing to help them. I think another thing is, because I've been times where I've like in, been in a rut and it's because I was talking to the same 50 people over and over and over and over. So if you're not literally you guys finding new people to talk to every single day, you're going to get in that rut because we all have those people that every month they want information and then never do it. Uh, that's like beating your head against a wall because if you're not finding those new people, success club becomes hard. But if you are reaching out to new people and becoming friends with new people every single day, you're going to find people you're just going to, but if you're posting, if you're posting to the same 50 people all the time and they're not, they haven't reached out then that's on you. You need to reach out to new people. Um, Micah said, actually helping people includes getting a solution in their hands, not just inspiring them. And that's so true. People will sit and watch you all day long. But sometimes if you're not sending that invite and inviting them to do it with you, they're not like, you're not helping them by posting your workout all the time. You have to invite them to do it so they can actually change their life and not just watch you change yours. You know, um, what is the best way to grow your followers? Honestly, if you like, you can do STEM social, you can do 21 social. These are all different things that you can do to help grow your, grow your following. Um, or just do the whole five, four, th five, three, one method that Shalene Johnson talks about. If you don't have the, that, if the STEM social or 21 is not in your budget to do, which you can honestly do STEM social for $10 a month. Um, but if you don't have that in your budget, then you need to make pri a priority of going out and finding those people 
and spending an hour a day finding new people. So you search hashtags and you search, search different things where you're finding people, you like five of their photos, comment on three and follow them. So then they get nine notifications from you all at once. They have a higher chance to follow you back. So that's, I mean, just be patient because lots of times people want to get followers right away. You just have to be patient, but you have to put yourself out there and be talking to new people. I definitely recommend doing like a, a STEM, um, to some extent, like a STEM grower or whatever, just because you guys, that's like, once again, brick and mortar shop, opening up a shop and then saying you don't have money to have marketing in your budget. Like if you opened up a brick and mortar shop, you wouldn't spend all this money to have a shop and be like, I don't have money to get my name out there. I'm just going to wait for people to show up at my door. Like, so this is a, a very proactive way. And you guys, I promise the return of expense, return of investment, said that backwards, is totally there. Okay. So you can get a cheaper plan like she's talking about, but that's going to help you with your connections and followers while you're doing the work as well. So just do your power hour every day and that really will help. Yeah. I have hey, a guys. question about stories. Go ahead. Um, so I just used them for the first time last week and I feel like it's like struggle bus, hot mess express. <laughs> it's cause you're overthinking it. Honestly, be if you sit and take a video of yourself and then you watch it 50 times, you're going to pick yourself apart. Then do a video, post it, and don't think about it. Don't rewatch it. Don't do all that stuff. It's because you're overthinking it and picking yourself apart. And I know, like, it takes 15 seconds of your whole entire day to make a, a story. And I used to do that all the time because I would, like, do one of me talking, and then I overthink it, and then I won't post it. And then you're, and then 20 minutes have gone by, and you haven't done anything. You know, so my biggest thing is just do a video, post it, and walk away. That's my okay. biggest thing. And don't compare yourself to anybody else because maybe your posts don't look as good as Jalen's or Cozy's or Micah's or you don't get as many likes as Melissa or Donna or whatever. You don't, everything is about being better than you were yesterday and just consistently falling forward. And you posted and you got crickets and oh my gosh, that sucks, but I'm going to post again today and I'm going to try a different route. Like you have to, that is what all of us have done. All of us can tell you we have done stories that got no interaction. We have done posts that nobody commented on. We have all run things that totally bombed, but we're all still here because we kept trying. So as you're trying stuff, if it's not working, tweak and just keep going. Yes. Yes. yes, um, yes. Last thing we got to go. Um, you guys, I highly recommend that you breathe. If you're a hot mess, because guess what? Um, it shows that anybody can do this I think sometimes we expect it to be so super perfect but then people are like I could never do what she does she's got all her shiz together like um nope this is where I can make my post look pretty and I can show them the real life behind the stories so don't underestimate the power of being real okay yes yes okay guys we're gonna hop off so next week is just kidding we don't have a next week do we no so thanks guys <laughs>